Es una gran historia con la que ustedes van a conectarse. The Clash of the Titans, Matt Mikkelsen y Alexa Dávalos también estuvieron con nosotros en 35 milímetros desde London. Have you seen what's happening out there? Have you even bothered to look? We serve as an inspiration. Hundreds of our men have lost their lives. Yet we celebrate. You're provoking the gods and you act as if there will be no consequence. Now what do you want? Should we be afraid? Should we be trembling and soiling ourselves in fear? The gods need us. They need our worship. What do we need of them? Look at my daughter. Don't. What could be more divine than her face? More beautiful than all the women of Greece? More beautiful than Aphrodite herself? The Olympians should envy her. We are the gods now. Welcome to Latin America. Thank you very much. How do you feel today? A warm, it's a warm day out there. I'm happy to be here. Okay. Do you enjoy epic stories? Yeah, definitely. We love them. Yeah. This is what stories are made of. I mean, every little small kitchen sink drama is spilled on something epic. It's basic stories. Yeah. What do you think about this script? The script was, uh, I think, exciting because it took so many different pieces from so many different elements and mixed them all together. And so we had all these puzzle pieces and we were able to put them together. And I think, um, yeah, you know, they're, and, and they're, they're timeless. As much as they're ancient, they're also timeless. So. Yeah, and I, and I think about, uh, it's a lot about people trying to be heroes in a way they believe is, is impossible, but they have to think twice and maybe do it in a different way. Mm. Is it hard to work while all this action is taking place? No, we are part of the action, so, so that's cool. I mean, obviously there's green screen, this is the difficult thing, but mm. we are so much part of the action that we almost become three-dimensional, all the green screen itself sometimes. Yeah, definitely. Okay, but is it difficult to connect with your characters in the middle of this kind of shooting? I think it's what keeps you, you know, sort of grounded is sort of staying inside that character and being, a, you know, part of the tapestry of what you're doing, you know, and I think, you know, with all of the sort of action and all the madness, it's, it, that's, that's the realm they live in. So it's just as real as, as you know, this is for us sitting here. So um, there's no questioning it, it just is. So you just, you play inside of that reality. Yeah, we'll have to create a little space of something we can recognize, mm -hmm. even though there's a big dragon out there and a mm -hmm. monster over there. Mm -hmm. But as, as you said, that's, that's their life. What do you think about the vision of Louis Leterrier? It's massive. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, it's fantastic. He sees, sees everything in such detail. Yeah. He would um, like to open up his brain and just pull out that film yeah, once in a while. Yeah. yeah. But he, he's a boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got childlike energy and he's so passionate and so excited and so in love with film and so in love with, you know, the original film. Um, and yeah, he really just, he's a force of energy that just really propels us constantly. Yeah, and he's you know? good at dragging us into the universe, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nobody who can explain how big the Scorpion is like him. Like, <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah.